Uh, hey there. Um, this is Justin Stone Diaz, and this is a video blog entry um, coming to you about Occupy Wall Street. Um, I've been down there on and off um, since the beginning, and the biggest thing that we're asked um, directly at Liberty Plaza and the thing I hear most online and you know when I'm out in the community is um, how can I support Occupy Wall Street now watching this video or visiting the um, space in New York City is the best way to support Occupy Wall Street but more importantly um, make sure you're getting your information from the right sources um, if you Google Occupy Wall Street, um, you will get several websites that actually use the words Occupy Wall Street in their um, web address. One of them is Occupy Wall Street with an ST.org. Um, the site itself has um, lots of up to date information, looks like a traditional um, website with an about page and all this traditional functionality that you would expect on a website. But the fact is, the website OccupyWallST.org is not run by Occupy Wall Street in New York City. It is um, run by some activists that are excited about the cause and were involved in the beginning when Adbusters first um, helped promote the Occupy Wall Street call to action. Now, um, what do you do about that? There's a website out there that looks like Occupy Wall Street, has all this information from Occupy Wall Street, but is in fact not Occupy Wall Street. Um, the thing is, we're being as transparent as possible and putting every single thing we do online. Um, but by doing this, um, it's very easy to pick up our um, content feeds. If you go to the website, OccupyWallST.org, um, and do a little clicking around, and you'll notice um, that it's actually a collection of links to other websites, other fundraisers, um, and other online efforts that are all having the goal of occupying Wall Street. But I hate to break it to you, it's not us. If you donate to some of those links, um, the money most likely is not coming to us. Um, I experienced this when I made a donation on that website, clicked through, thinking I was donating to the Occupy Wall Street General Assembly Fund, and I kindly got a thank you notice from PayPal, which um, mentioned I had donated money to Adbusters. So just to repeat, the website Occupy Wall Street with an ST.org is not Occupy Wall Street produced. The website you want to look at is www.nycga.net. That's nycga.net. Now, building a website like anyone who works online, know, um, they know that um, it takes a couple weeks to build any kind of function into a website. And the fact that there have been several websites up from the beginning of our political action um, should have drawn some attention. And it um, explains a lot of the um, confusion that's come in um, because it gives the appearance that the OWS community, which is formed down at Liberty Plaza, um, was a lot more organized than it was in the beginning. Um, just to repeat, the website www.wallst.org is not produced by Occupy Wall Street. There are bits of information that come from lots of different sources, from all our different um, open source um, content share efforts. Um, and they're just being fed into that website automatically. Um, so what you want to do is, if you want to support Occupy Wall Street, make sure that you're getting your information from the right source. So, to repeat, the only place you can get information by people who are actually occupying Wall Street is www.nycga.net. That stands for New York City General Assembly.net. 
So, if you want to support Wall Street before you retweet, please make sure that you're sharing content from a confirmed source. There is so much um, resharing and excitement and enthusiasm for Occupy Wall Street that um, our support, our quote quote supporters, are sharing content and not getting their content from Occupy Wall Street directly. So please check the websites that you're getting your information from. Make sure if you're donating that you're donating directly to NYCGA.net. Um, and in general, we don't need money right now. If you went to our website or listened to us online, you'd understand that we have not asked you for any money. Um, now that you know that nycga.net is our website and any needs we have or things we want from the community will be listed there. I'm quite sorry that everyone out there like me fell for those other websites. Um, but it just goes to show you, um, before you click, make sure you know what you're, you're doing. Um, the concept of a trusted network is very important. If you're retweeting something, make sure the person that you're getting it from... Ah, train. If you're retweeting something, make sure the source you're getting it from is someone you trust. And if you're retweeting, I suggest looking at the source. It's um, revolutionary, but um, I am shocked, appalled, and embarrassed um, even by my own early actions in this game. Um, it's so easy to hit the retweet button. You see those ha that hashtag, Occupy Wall Street, or OWS, or whatever, and you want to support us, and you want to get the word out, and you hit retweet, but Sadly, about 99% of the content being shared, 99% of the content being retweeted, quoted, and referred to as Occupy Wall Street source material actually is assembled from rumors, secondary websites, and poorly researched um, articles in um, topical websites that actually have an agenda. So make sure you check the URL um, and look around on that website. Now to be clear, I am not saying OccupyWallStreet.org is a bad website. I'm just saying it's not clear when you first go to that website that it is not generated by the folks who are actually occupying Wall Street. We are very grateful to the group of people who have created this website. It's a great clearinghouse um, if you're used to seeing internet content in a nice, juicy, clear, nice presentation. Um, but people have missed the point. The reason why Occupy Wall Street hasn't had a website is that we haven't needed one. All the media attention and all the buzz in the media, that is our promotional plan. Our website is a tool and we now need a tool to communicate with our with each other with the other working groups and the public so a month after occupy wall street started we've gotten our website up so please visit www.nycga.net and please before you try and support any cause look into your sources and educate yourself because otherwise you may be doing more damage than you attended so please look before you retweet and I will see you online, see you on the mat, and I hope to see you all at Occupy Wall Street in New York City and have a great evening.